Hello. Today, BinSpeed will guide you on how to use the column rebar tool. First, to ensure the tool works properly, you need to join the beam and column objects. Next, go to the BIMSpeed structure section and select the column rebar version 2.0 tool. Select the aligned column objects. The tool will display all the information of the column, including the column cross section, cover thickness, rebar placement position, and other related rebar details. In this tab, you can modify the rebar diameter, quantity of reinforcement in both directions, stirrup diameter, and hoop stirrup. Additionally, if necessary, you can also adjust the cover thickness. If you want to arrange the same for columns on the remaining floors, select Apply to Remaining Floors. You can choose to apply the arrangement to either the main rebar, stirrup rebar, or both if needed. Add different types of reinforcement stirrups for each case by directly clicking on the section. Select the rebuy arrangement for stirrups in each case. If you need to edit the details for the stirrup case, select the stirrups tab. You can choose to arrange the stirrups only up to the bottom of the beam or add stirrups with the required quantity or spacing. Set the starting point of the stirrup, the spacing for each stirrup position, and the rules for the tool to automatically arrange the stirrups. If the column base is embedded in the foundation, go to the Foundations tab and select Foundation Starter Rebar Settings to create the rebar linking the column base and the foundation. Here, you can set up the rebar connection at the column base, specify the size of the main rebar and stirrup rebar, and also change the direction of the anchorage rebar into the foundation. In the Settings section, you can adjust the anchorage length, rebar anchorage at the rooftop, splice length, splice spacing, assign information and groups, and define the positions of beams and slabs. Click Run, and the tool will proceed to generate the column rebar based on the information you entered.